Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about the Rotten Tomato scores for Doctor Who. And in particular I'm going to be talking about what happened in Season 11. Now, I should say I haven't watched Season 11. Um, I've been taking a bit of a break from the show after the Peter Capaldi era. So I've been somewhat alarmed by various things that I've heard about Season 11. I've, I've heard alternately glowing reports of what's going on in the season and the changes that have been made. Um, but I've also heard uh, negative things. I've heard people uh, talking about uh, the writing quality going down, things like this. And uh, I didn't know what to think because I've only seen the first episode. Um, so being a scientist, I thought, well, I, I better look at the evidence and, and just see what the numbers are saying until I'm ready to actually watch the season. I, I don't have an opinion. Now, I love the show, I should say that up front. I want the show to succeed. Um, but uh, this, this sort of change in the score that I've seen, that I've seen both in the, um, the IMDb score and the uh, other online scores like the, the Rotten Tomato score and the Metacritic score, this, this is concerning to me. So I decided to look into it. And what, one of the things that I did is I looked at the Rotten Tomatoes comments and and um, star ratings. So on, on Rotten Tomatoes, the uh, show was given star ratings from 0, 0.0 up to 5.0 in increments of a half. And users were allowed to give either a ranking, uh, a star, star rating, or they could also give a comment. So I can show you the sorts of things. Um, you can see these sorts of comments. Oh, sorry, those are the IMDb comments. Let's have a look at the Rotten Tomatoes comments. Um, you can see that they, they've got uh, ratings out of five. Um, there's a time, a time when the ratings came in. We've got a, a user ID here, uh, a user name, and then you've got uh, a string here, which is the, uh, the actual comment, the textual comment associated with it. And as you can see, the things started off uh, well enough, but um, what what you can also see is that later on people were giving um, small ratings, lower ratings, and they were writing these big essays on on what they did or did not like about the show. And sometimes they'd they'd write comments on on what they liked, um, but more often than not, you'd see these these low values with um, real essays on on what's what's going on or what's going wrong in the season. Um, so this was a bit of an eye opener for me. This was a bit of a worry because I, as I say, I, I love the show and I, I don't want to see it um, going downhill. Um, but a lot of people here seem to be genuinely upset about what was going on in in season eleven. So the question is: Was this just a bunch of disgruntled uh, vocal minority? Was this uh, was this people who were um, misogynists or people who just didn't like change or were these long-term fans of the show that had their noses out of joint um, what was going on here uh, so I decided to look into that and try to try to work out what was going on so I did a bit of an analysis um, and uh, one of the things that I heard was that there might be bots all right software robots coming in and downvoting the show um, and so I decided to do my own analysis to try and work out if that was true. Uh, and <clears throat> I also did my own analysis of duplicated text. Uh, the reason why duplicated text might be a problem is uh, if, if it's a bot that's... Mostly bots are probably just going to come in, um, give a, you know, a zero ranking and not leave any comment. Well, actually, with a zero rating, you can't give a comment on Rotten Tomatoes. So this is why... Um, if you look at the the 409 uh, rankings that were zero, there's there's actually none of them gave a comment because they couldn't actually do that. You had to give a 0.5 rating or above to actually give a comment. So uh, if you were a bot and you were just doing that, then there's only 409 of those out of 3,000 uh, or so comments. So I and I looked for duplicates. Um, I found a few a few duplicates, um, but um, there was there was some duplicated things that I saw, like these very short comments like this. Um, 
And you'd expect naturally to get these sorts of duplicates happening. Someone's given a, a very short comment, you'd expect a couple of people to, to give the same comment. Um, in fact, it would be suspicious if you didn't see, see some of these um, sorts of comments um, repeated. So these are these are probably innocent, but there's some, like these ones here, which are not innocent at all. If you have a look at them, um, you can see things like this, where um, two people with, with different user IDs uh, have essentially said the, exactly the same thing. They've, they've said it differently. Instead of wonderful new doctor, it's great new doctor. Instead of excellent sidecast, it says wonderful sidecast. Right? The wording here is a bit suspicious. It looks like the same person has written both of these comments. Um, and this particular comment is exactly replicated. So R2D2 and Scott R, shame on you. The point is, um, there wasn't actually a lot of duplication in the comments. So in my analysis, what I've done is I've actually thrown away all of the comments, uh, sorry, all of the ratings which did not have a comment. I've only accepted the ones that have comments. And that's to try to get rid of any potential bias um, from some software. Uh, coming in and, and rating these things. If you look at the ratio of comments to uncommented ratings, you see that a uh, few of them, 40, 40%, 30 to 40% in of the positive ratings are um, were, were given a comment, right? And that's that's probably typical. Um, most people will come in and just tick a box and say, "Yep, that was good." Uh, tick a number, uh, whereas to actually write a comment that requires a bit of effort. You can see that the average length of the comments was about 64 characters for the 5.0 star comments, and whereas uh, they were sort of in the in the hundreds uh, here in the, for the positive comments. Once you get down into the negative comments, you see a different thing. Uh, what you see is that the um, people start writing essays, right? People are writing 400 character comments. Uh, saying what what they didn't like, uh, or what was good and what was bad, and so overall, about sixty percent of these ratings were accompanied by a comment. So people people seem to be motivated um, to write something, um, and this is not uh, indicative of bot behaviour. If you had bots coming in, you'd expect, you know, three thousand down here. Uh, without any comments, um, or you'd expect comments to be um, duplicated. You'd expect similar wording happening, uh, and that's not what I found. Um, in fact, what I found was, if you look at these reviews, there's they're all kind of unique, and a lot of them are, are huge essays. These are these are the sorts of things that you couldn't really um, do with a with a computer at this point in time. Well, you could, but it it, it would be very hard to do um, some of these. <coughs> comments uh, to write coherent text. Um, this is this is clearly people behind these uh, comments. So um, if you look at the average star rating overall, uh, it was 1.57. And if you throw away the ones without comments and just, just look at the ones with comments, it was actually a lower ranking. So the, there, was, there was a lot of people uh, motivated to write negative comments, which is which is a bit sad, but um, but but there it is. If you look at this graph now, you can see what's what's going on. Uh, this is the number of comments overall uh, per week, uh, as it in as it. Uh, this is the ones. This is yeah. This is comments, right? Um, so people who've actually le left some textual comments. And this is per week during which the show was being screened, and the number of comments uh, increases. And this is the average star rating. The right way I've de um, determined that star rating is I've taken the numbers from 0 to 5 and I've multiplied them by 20. So that gives you a number from 0 to 100. So this is the average from, out of 100. And that's a cumulative average. So that's, that's in incorporating all of the comments over the entire run of the show. And this is the weekly average. So just looking at the comments that came in in a particular week, what you can see is there was a bunch of uh, early positive comments, the 5.0s in the in the very first week, and that sort of there was a bunch of positive comments mainly towards the second half of the show. Um, but but you know there were comments here and there. There was comments on the Rosa episode, first episode, the Rosa episode, pretty quiet uh, during the other episodes there, and then the the final. A few episodes, 
got some positive comments and then after the show finished um, if you look at over here on the negative uh, star ratings you see that there were some negative comments drips and drabs going through but by and large most people waited till after they'd seen the entire run of episodes so the vast majority of comments came in after the season was finished so um, I've heard people saying, oh, people were just trying to, people had already made up their mind, they were downvoting from the beginning. Actually, no, the evidence is quite to the contrary. There was a little bit of upvoting. Uh, people had made up their mind to upvote certain episodes at the beginning of the show. But by and large, most people actually waited till after they'd seen the entire season before they commented. And it was then that a lot of people uh, unloaded and aired their grievances. So. In answering the question, was there bot behaviour? Uh, I don't believe so. In fact, the, the majority of the negative um, scores were actually uh, accompanied by very long essays explaining what what people found uh, disagreeable about, about the show. And there's a bunch of things that were talked about. Um, if we actually go through here, you can see there's a bunch of different sentiments, and I won't summarise them all, but there were certain, certain phrases that kept cropping up. Um, but there was there was just every comment was different. There was there was a whole lot of different things being talked about, uh, both positive and negative. And so, I'm of the opinion that there was no real bot activity um, that could be discerned here. Um, that people were airing their grievances. It wasn't a vocal minority. In fact, there was thousands of people uh, coming in and saying what they what they thought um, and and this is actually similar to the sorts of things that we see um, in the uh, IMDB comments as well um, so there's actually multiple sources of of information here saying a similar kind of thing namely that um, the show has declined in writing and and that's a worry to me because I love the show and I want it to do well um, so uh, until I can actually watch the show and, and make up my own mind, um, this is what the evidence seems to be saying. There's multiple sources saying that there's been some kind of um, something that has put people's noses out of joint. And I've heard various theories on this online, everything from uh, the quality of the writing going down to having too many companions to um, not having the, the old villains and monsters back. I don't know, there could be lots of reasons. Um, hope, here's hoping that uh, Season 12 does a lot better. Um, that's been my analysis so far, anyway, of, of what's been going on online, particularly on Rotten Tomatoes. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.